will create a spring connection with surface to surface glue. We'll begin with two blocks that are two by two by a half inch thick. Next we'll create our simulation models. And we don't need an idealized part. We're going to take the blocks as is. And we'll go into the Nastran structural environment and create a linear static solution. Next we'll go to our output requests and make sure that we have our glue results enabled. Next we'll create a brick mesh on both of our blocks. And then we'll go to the sim where we'll create a unit load on the top face of the top block in the Z direction. Next we'll create a fixed translation constraint on the bottom face of the bottom block. Now we're ready to create our glue. Here we'll create surface to surface glue. We'll use the automatic pairing algorithm to search for faces. Here you can see it's found one pair. Now we'll go into the glue parameters and this is where we need to change the defaults from a weld-like connection to normal and tangential springs. And we'll use the pen type of force over length times area. And to determine the penalty in the normal direction we need to look at Hooke's Law. Here we can find the formula for the penalty as the stiffness that we'd like for the connection divided by the area of the connection. And here you can see since the block is 2 by 2 the area is 4 square inches. So we'll use 100 since we want a stiffness of 400 for that connection. Alright, so there's our glue. Now we're ready to solve. And the solve only takes a few seconds to run. And then we can take a look at our results. And we'll begin with our displacement results. And based on our one pound unit load and 400 pound per inch stiffness, you can see we have, as expected, a 0 0.0025 inch displacement on the top block. Now one thing you'll notice when comparing the max principle stress results to using springs like a C bush or a C E lass that the stress will be much more consistent across the face. There will be much less variability in stress across the face. And here we can see that in a couple of different ways. One is we can plot the stress along a query curve. And here you can see very little variability in the stress along that curve. And another way we can see that is by identifying the stress at every node on the face. So we can see the min and the max on the face as well as the average. Next we'll take a look at some of the output that glue gives us since we requested glue in our output request. First we'll look at glue pressure results and here you can see that pressure corresponds to our max principal stress and also shows very little variability across the face for the glue pressure result. Another helpful glue result is the glue force result. Here we can see how much load the glue is carrying by identifying the results on the feature face. 
here we can see that that sums to our applied load. So that is how to create a spring connection with surface-to-surface -surface glue.